Okay guys, welcome to another uh, Why I Love and today's game is Daily Thompson's Decathlon and it's on the C64 because that's the version that I played back in the day so let's take a wee shot of this it's been a long long time since I've played this game Just uh, <laughs> looking at the billboards there, Ocean doesn't exist, Pepsi's still there obviously, John Menzies doesn't exist, Woolworth doesn't exist. Yeah, this is always a quite a difficult game, I don't know how it's going to work with the joypad, I'll give it a go. Now one thing about this game, it didn't really matter how much effort you put in to waggling the joystick because your on screen character never really seemed to reflect accurately how you're actually doing, if that made any sense. So sometimes you would be behind but you'd end up winning anyway, you know what I mean? It's just it didn't really show you exactly accurately where you were. Right, I'm not sure what the fire button is for this, but we'll give it a go. Hey! <laughs> Now the reason I love this game is because obviously um, it was it was a, a make of it was a, a remake of Track and Field which was never officially released. Well, that's not entirely true. Track and Field was released in the States on the C64. It was a game that I got later on, but this was basically what we got in Britain. Um, this was the version we got. Um, Daily Thompson's Decathlon. It's. Uh, I love this game to bits, played it non-stop, I mean graphically wise it's really nice even if Daily Thompson is a bit of a, a midget looking but one thing you may see, notice as well, the actual uh, borders, hang on, like, ah, you see there they've even managed to sort of include the colours in the borders of the screen so that was using sort of clever trickery um, which made it look really nice. But yeah, me and my mates used to play this non-stop. Loved it to bits. The sound, the graphics, excellent. And if I remember rightly, this was kind of, you didn't do very much in this particular game. No, this, this particular event, it spins it for you, so all you really did was wait until the last second and press the fire button. Like so, so that event didn't really take a lot of effort. I don't know why they didn't involve the joystick waggling. But yeah, even the wee, the wee ditties, the wee tunes like that just absolutely bring back the happy memories. And funnily enough, the, the Spectrum version of this, although it was called Daily Thompson's Decathlon, it did not feature the, the chap in question Oh, that's a good one, that's bang on 45. That was always the angle you're looking for. <laughs> that's almost double the world record. As a... You see there they've spelt meters wrong. That's American spelling, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this event was a bit boring because all you did was have to tap the fire button once. They should have left it. It's almost just as good, not quite. Oh, that's even better. Is that exactly the same? I think it is. Have one. Okay, here we go. That looks good. That should easily qualify. Yeah, but the sound in this game is brilliant. Pretty much spot on for arcade. Well, arcade track and field, I should say. Yeah, and I was really going for it there, but the, the speed seemed to increase and then dip. That's what I was saying about it. You know, sometimes the effort you're putting in didn't always reflect accurately on the screen. I don't know why that was. Ow! 
Oh, you sword. That was rubbish. <laughs> Still alright. That's what I'm saying. That was rubbish speed. Angle wasn't great. But the presentation of this game is setting to none. Always thought that this version looked way much better than the Spectrum one, although I'm sure Spectrum fans would disagree. There you'll see here, I am currently getting beaten. Well, I'm kind of edging it at the moment, you'll see what I mean. I am technically in front of him. Now let's see if it rings true, I'm well in front of him. Come on. <laughs> I'm starting to get cramp in my hand. Yeah, I am well in front. Oh, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. Absolutely lost it. And I'm now losing the will to live. <laughs> Come on, you suck. Ah, bloody hell. I forgot how hard this game is, actually. Right, I've actually stopped dead. Deary me. It doesn't appear like I want to start moving again. Right, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Completely lost it. Absolutely lost it. Is it going to force me to finish? I just cannot get going again. Well, there we go, my way. I'm moving again. <laughs> Is that game over? That'll be one way to do, I'm guessing. That is absolutely brutal. Don't even talk to me about the 1500 meters. I'm going to have to use my left hand now because my right hand's dead. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put a start line in. I wouldn't recommend playing this game with a, a 360 joystick. You really need a proper digital joystick for this. And the way I'm going, it looks like we're not going to get to see the, the last uh, all 10 events. Yeah, this game came out, it was on the high after the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics where Daley Thompson took the gold medal. And that was when we had a Dick athlete whole of the UK, you know, it was great watching them. I remember watching Olympics and cheering the guy on, so when this came out, you know, it was it was really relevant. This is the same as the shot part. Press the fire button and that is it. That should be good. Slightly too low the angle, but that's going to be good. That's a beauty. <laughs> As if. Yeah, I don't know if that was a deliberate um, spelling of meters, um, to sort of because it was like Los Angeles being American, or whether it was just somebody couldn't simply couldn't spell. I'm guessing it was probably the latter actually. Or there again, possibly track and field might have had the meters like that, I can't remember, I'm sure it would be because 
What's that going to be like? Yeah, who knows? Full hole, right, okay. Let's see how we're going to get on with this one. Ah, right, okay, so you don't even have to run with this one. It's been such a long time since I played this game, so you need to really wait to the very last minute. Hop! <laughs> no pressure. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> game over, I think. There we go. Yep, game over. Huge, like, uh, expanded spite of daily there. Yeah, anyway guys, listen, that is Daily Thomas' Decathlon. I uh, <laughs> loved that game to bits. It wasn't, it definitely wasn't the best track and field game out there. Um, the Decathlon game by Activision was a better game. Um, Summer Games by Epix eclipsed this game tenfold. But uh, this has just got a lot of happy memories for me, playing it back in 1984. Summer 1984, when Olympics was on, I was, what, 17 years old. Me and my mates, uh, we had brilliant fun playing this game. Um, you can see there you could actually have a two player option as well, we actually raced against each other. So yep, that is why I love Daily Thompson's Decathlon on the C64. Anyway guys, thank you very very much for watching.